Hi friends, this is a very special video. Not only because I will be fancifying my favorite Middle Eastern dessert, baklava, but because this video has a special guest, a fellow video creator, someone who you already heard me mentioning and recommending to you on several occasions, on my social media and newsletter. And you already probably subscribed to him anyways. The man, the legend, the incredibly talented, Kevin Koss from YouTube channel Cocktail Time with Kevin Koss. Thanks, Natalia, for this introduction. Hi, everyone. I'm Kevin Koss, and I'm a big fan of Chef Rodakova's channel, so I'm excited to be here. I can't wait to see what Natalia comes up with this time. Actually, I got an idea, Kevin. Do you think you can come up with a cocktail recipe that would pair nicely with my baklava? I love a good challenge, so I try to think of something special. Great. See you later, Kevin. See you soon. So, the baklava we have in mind is the modern, deconstructed version of the traditional baklava, a la amuse-bouche style, something that you can pick up and eat in one bite. And we will still incorporate all the traditional elements of the traditional baklava, like the variety of cheeses, specifically pistachios and almonds for the decoration, the syrup, and there will be a cheesy element. So, keep on watching. In the traditional baklava recipe, syrup is something that usually comes at the very end of the preparation, when the baklava itself is already baked. But in our recipe, we are going to deconstruct it. We're going to make a vegan caviar out of it. And for the filling of our baklava, I'm going to use some nuts, specifically pistachios. Oh, Natalia, can I actually borrow these pistachios from my recipe? No, I need them for my recipe. Don't worry, I promise I'll give them back. And is that feta cheese I see over there? Can you use the leftover brine? Sure, but only because it's you, Kevin. And while we are waiting for Kevin to give us back our pistachios, Let's prep the rest of the filling. Okay, this part is super easy, super straightforward, delicious nevertheless. Use the food processor to process together equal amounts of halloumi cheese and feta cheese. Process everything together and then add some berry jam. Which berry jam, you may ask? Your favorite berry jam. You're the boss. Let's better make our filo pastry tarlets. It's super quick to make. For this, we are going to use the pre-made store-bought filo pastry sheets. Take a little tarlet mold, use the baker's brush to spread around a little bit of melted butter, place the filo pastry sheet inside and press gently it inside with your fingers. And repeat the process for up to four filo pastry sheets. Finally, use your kitchen scissors to trim off the edges exactly to the shape of the mold. Once it's done, put a piece of parchment paper inside the mold together with filler sheets. Fill it up with some dry beans or legumes. This will ensure that your pastry doesn't bubble when you bake it. And bake at about 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 10 to 15 minutes. Keep a close eye on it, keep on checking all the time. Well, after 10 minutes, <laughs> it should be golden brown in color. So, for the vegan caviar, aka baklava syrup caviar, we're going to mix together some brown sugar, around 100 grams, some honey, around 150 grams, a little bit of feta brine, around 50 grams, and water, about 70 grams. Put everything in a small pot, add a couple of cinnamon sticks for that amazing cinnamon flavor, a couple of orange peels would be just enough to make our syrup more fresh and citrusy. Bring the mixture to a boil. Make sure that all the sugars are melted and simmer for about 10 minutes. Take it off the heat, strain off all the orange peels and cinnamon, and then separately measure 1% of agar agar powder. So, for example, if your total syrup weight was 200 grams, then you'll need 2 grams of agar agar. Meanwhile, pour your pre-chilled ice-cold flavorless vegetable oil into a tall container and use a pipette to drop your vegan syrup caviar into the cold oil. As you know already, water and oil do not mix. So, by dropping this syrup mixture mixed with agar agar into the cold oil, it cools down immediately and the agar agar inside solidifies and gels those drops into little beautiful caviars. And the last step, strain the oil and reserve this beautiful caviar for the final plating. Hey Natalia, I'm done with pistachios. 
you can have them back. Did you just use my pistachios to create pistachio milk for your cocktail? Yes, that's exactly what I did. Genius! Using the same ingredients for the cocktail pairing will definitely create a great combination for the final tasting at the end of the video. And these pistachios are still full of flavor, so I'm going to use them for my baklava filling. And we'll avoid the food waste. Genius! That's why I also used feta cheese brine. Awesome! I'm looking forward to the tasting. See you soon! Okay, finally, we got our used dehydrated pistachios back. So let's pour them into the filling mix and process it until smooth. And for the decoration, we are going to use, again, nuts, specifically almonds. First, let's soak them in hot water, then peel them like this with your hands, and then carefully slice using the mandolin on the thinnest setting. You should end up with extra thin, petal-looking shavings of almonds. Finally, the plating. Take your golden phyllo tarlet and fill it up with your cheesy pistachio filling all the way to the top. Smooth the edges with an offset spatula and then start carefully decorating with your almond petals. And in no time at all, it's gonna look beautiful and floral like this. Almost the last step. Gently place your syrup caviar right in the middle and decorate with some edible white microflowers. And voila, here comes our modern, deconstructed, beautiful baklava. Hey Kevin, is your cocktail ready? I know I'm ready. Sure, let me introduce you to the clarified milk punch baklava cocktail. Made with brandy, sherry, honey and lemon super juice. It's clarified thanks to the milk washing with pistachio and feta brine nut milk. To pair it nicely with your baklava, I garnished it with molasses caviar and flowers inside an ismalt cup and sprayed it with a vodka jasmine tea perfume. Might sound complicated, but if you like molecular gastronomy, you'll enjoy making this. For details on how I made it, join me on the Cocktail Time channel. Speaking of Cocktail Time, this one's for you, Natalia. Cheers! Wow, Kevin, this looks incredible! Look at this little isomult basket. I love it. And a little caviar as well. Let me taste it. Mmm, this is so good. I think it's one of my favorite cocktails right now. So smooth, so deep. But let's see how it pairs with my baklava. Mm. Delicious. First of all, the pairing is amazing. It's very difficult to pair desserts but I think Kevin nailed it. I definitely should check out the recipe. Okay, that's a wrap. Thank you, Kevin, for taking up my challenge. You definitely nailed it. And if you guys want to see Kevin's part of this pairing, this wonderful cocktail recipe, head over to his channel. It's Cocktail Time with Kevin Koss. I'll make sure to link it everywhere. And if you want Kevin and I to make more collaborations in the future, let us know in the comments below, drop us your ideas, we are open for more challenges. And that's it for today. I'll see you in the next video.